Hi, my friends call me Lime and I, I got a new lamp. And this is what you had to say about forward motion. Oliver De La Rosa says, amazing explanation. I will apply it. You do that. And thank you so much for that comment. These kinds of comments really mean a lot to me. Smart Facts UK says, maybe you should try some slow motion. Dr. Dunk asks, I always wondered, how do non-French call you? Well, that's the beauty of it. If they don't know what to call me, then they don't. The alternative, they say, Hey, what's up? What's up? And Pyragon says, loved the musical short at the end, and the musical short loves you. Fine gaming. Connoisseur. Con Connoisseur. 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 So, I think that's how you pronounce it. Fine Gaming Connoisseur says another example I can. Oh, well. Uh, there we go. Another example I can think of is from a very old action movie called Terminator 2 Judgment Day, where the audience is initially led to believe that the T-800 is the villain and the T-1000 is the good guy until they both corner John Connor and we realize that it is the reverse. It was a clever twist that actually worked and surprised the audience because up till that moment, probably very few people even suspected that there was a twist at all. So forward motion is rather about making your audience expect that something is going to happen so that they can start wondering about what it's going to be. So if, if you're gonna create forward motion for a twist, then you need to make your audience expect that a twist is coming. Otherwise, they're not going to ask themselves that question. What is the twist going to be? Or um, stay put, keep watching just to find that out. I mean, if, they're, if they don't know that a twist is coming, then they're not going to do that. So I think that this kind of just falls into the category of a very good twist, but not forward motion. Leo Gaming says, very good tips, thanks a lot. One good way that I use to create forward motion is to create an unsolved mystery at the end and add the caption to be continued. Then this would make you make a part two and your audience would definitely be interested in what's coming up. So that is a very good tip and it made me think because when I was taught forward motion, they talked about forward motion as something that only exists within the frames of a video. Um, if you ended a video in a way that made the audience want to see the next episode, then the technical term for that was cliffhanger. And I don't really know, it is possible that a cliffhanger is just a subcategory of forward motion but it is possible that they are just completely different terms altogether. And you can also start talking about hype here uh, because hype is a way to make you want to watch the first episode. And it is the same thing there. I don't really know if hype is just a sub subcategory of forward motion or if they're just two different terms here. So. I can't really answer that, um, so, but it was a very interesting thought. Best TP or Beast TP says no en diendo. Yo podría pedirle a alguien grabar el manuscrito en español y después mimar la grabación, pero eso sería mucho trabajo. Si quieres, puedes ir a Freedom's canal de YouTube en español. The Starks says, what's your channel? So this is my channel. It's called Proud to be Fruit. And as you see, it's about self-defense against hate. And I'm gonna take the opportunity to be very real with you here because there is something called internalized homophobia. And that is about hating yourself for who you are, uh, for your sexuality. And that is something that I have been through uh, for a very large part of my life and it is something that creates 
a very damaging inner conflict. And what helped me get over that was to hear um, counter arguments to those homophobic arguments that I was given like every day. And so I kind of want to give that back. So this is about debunking homophobic arguments and also just to debunk random mind glitches. Um, just arguments that people use to justify treating people in a certain way. So my job is to debunk every homophobic argument and every mind glitch until there are none left. And I do that not just linking random articles on the internet, I actually look up the research, the original research, and then I'll link you that so that you can use it uh, as proof in, in arguments. And I try to include my own thoughts about it that I find inspiring, and I try to include comedy and entertainment, and I think that mix is something that makes me unique. And one common misconception about the channel is that it's about um, protest and it's about trying to convert homophobes. It's, 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 that's not my focus. My target audience isn't homophobes. My target audience is people who are in the same situation that I have been or just people who want to be able to help those people. Um, so this is more about not about, hey, you are wrong, homophobes. It's rather about, hey, okay, yeah, I see that you feel this way about yourself, but those homophobic arguments are wrong because of these reasons. So it's about strengthening people rather than something else. Now, honestly, whenever someone asks me about my channel here or on Discord, I always get a bit nervous to share it because it is a subject that brings up a lot of emotion, a sensitive subject, and I, I mean, I reveal a lot about myself on the channel, things that might make some people view me differently or judge me, and I mean, th people here see me giving tips about how to perform well in front of the camera. And so I'm thinking that's what they expect me doing on my channel. And so that's why they ask. And so I'm thinking that, ooh, what if they find out that I'm doing this and they might view me differently. And I know uh, that it might some sil sound silly to some, but that's sometimes how I feel. So if you believe in a more accepting world and want an in-depth look into homo-friendly arguments, then give me a visit. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you hopefully in the next episode. Uh, bye.